Welcome to Ogre Hamster. Today we'll be taking a look at this pro streaming webcam. And let's take a look at some of the highlights that came on the box over here. What it could be used for. What I got this for is for Twitch. And I use, or my team uses, we use OBS. And that's actually the first one listed here. It works with XSplit too. I stopped using XSplit quite some time ago. For computer requirements, all computers these days have at least dual co co Intel Core 2 Dual. Yeah, that's quite old. So any computer these days can run, has the uh, technical specs to run this. And it's supported on a variety of operating systems too. Here's the user manual that came with it. It covers a number of languages. The thing is that all the instructions in here are for Windows. Um, mostly on Mac. Even, even when I use OBS. But it's very simple to set it up. Even uh, just essentially just choose another device. The device itself does not have that big of a footprint. The USB cable is about six and a half feet or so. The lens up front over here, HD lens. This can also fold it out. Now I'm going to place it on top of my computer over here. And here I got Skype open. This is currently the green lights over here. That's the FaceTime camera. I'm going to switch to the USB Live camera. What I'm going to do now is turn off the light. You see that with this USB Live cam, the image quality is much better in low light conditions than if I were to use like the FaceTime HD camera. FaceTime HD camera, nah, this quite, doesn't quite cut it. Here's OBS. I think currently for the source, FaceTime has priority. You can see the poorer image quality. I'm going to remove FaceTime. So now the H.264 is there. Image quality is much better. Previously, that's FaceTime. This is the USB live camera. Head to the settings here. Now, on a box, it does say 1080, except that on here, the highest one I can see is 720. I like the quality of the video and the audio. So some of my earlier gameplay videos, I always used the FaceTime camera and the microphone built into my MacBook Pro. But now, I'm just gonna use this instead. Much better image quality, much better audio quality, and set up with a cinch. I'll place the link in the description below. Overall, I like this and I'll recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Hamster.